In the last tutorial, I showed you how to sign up for Dropbox and how to install it on your computer. In this program, I want to show you students how you can use Dropbox. You're going to learn two cool things and also get two important reminders. Now that Dropbox is installed on your computer, you can see that it sits like a folder among all your other big boy folders on the computer. You could put the same stuff in your Dropbox folder that you would put on your favorite USB that you carry around in your pocket or in your pencil case. Anything that you'd put on your little two gigabyte flash memory stick will fit in your free Dropbox folder. Now, two cool things that Dropbox gives you are backup and convenient access. I want to talk about both of those. First, let's talk about backup. Small, cheap USBs can break or the USB can crash. So if you've got everything in the world on one little USB flash memory stick and you lose it or you, it breaks or whatever, if you take the contents of that USB and put it into your Dropbox, then you've always got a backup. And that's a wonderful thing. You need a backup. Okay, next, convenient access. When you have all your stuff in your Dropbox folder, you can get to it anytime, anywhere you have an internet connection. So let's take a look at the web browser. We'll go to Internet Explorer and uh, do a quick search for Dropbox. There it is in Japanese if you need that. We'll open up Dropbox, click out of that, and sign in. And remember not to click Remember Me. If you're on a computer at school, you don't want it to remember you. You don't want to keep that cookie. So just go ahead and sign in. And looky here, we've got all the files that I've got in my Dropbox right now. So, you could uh, open it up. Let's take a look at the topics here. There we go. And of course you can print it out, give it to your teacher, whatever you have to do. So the big point here is that you can use any web browser that's connected to the internet to get to the files in your Dropbox. And that's a good thing. Okay, next, two reminders that I want to share with you. Anything that you move out of your Dropbox folder, let's open that up, will disappear from your Dropbox. I know that sounds like a very simple warning, but it could really screw you up if you're not careful. I mean, you could leave it on a computer that isn't your computer, right? It's a good idea to keep the document in your Dropbox folder and open it right where it is. All right, the other reminder is be really, really careful with the size of the files that you put in your Dropbox. You can see here, um, I've got a PowerPoint here. It's a small document. Uh, topics also a very small document. You want to be careful not to add video clips or songs or really big PDF files or things like that. Uh, because if you do, you're going to get those messages from Dropbox saying, hey, you need to upgrade. Your box is almost full. And it costs money to do that. And you're a student, you don't have any money. So you don't want to see those messages. All right? That's it for this program. Next, how to share files with your classmates using Dropbox.